Mangal Murthy Ganesh Once torture of demons on earth went beyond limits. Along with humans, they started torturing deities too. <laughs> All deities, when combined too, weren't able to face them, which immensely boosted their confidence. Witnessing this, Lord Indra, along with other deities, went to Kailash Mountain and said to go Shiva. Mahadev, demons are causing immense trouble in earth as well as heaven. Please destroy these demons in order to maintain balance in the world. You need not worry at all, Lord Indra, to maintain balance in the world. I will surely destroy these demons. Saying this, God Shiva picked up his trident and for their help went along with them. In absence of God Shiva, Goddess Parvati was alone there in Kailash Mountain. While going for a bath, a thought came into her mind. No one can enter in Kailash Mountain without permission. But still for my protection, I shall definitely do something. Thinking this, with dirt from her body, she made a human mannequin and by chanting mantras, gave life to that mannequin and with his first breath, the boy asked from Goddess Parvati, Who am I? You are my son Ganesh. I'm going for a shower. You stay here and keep a watch until the time I'm not done with my shower. Make sure that you don't let anyone come here. As you say, mother. Ganesh, with a spear, started guarding at the door. And after some time, when God Shiva came back after destroying demons, he thought, First of all, I shall give this news to Parvati. But as soon he reached the bathing room to give news to Parvati, Ganesh stopped him and said, Please wait. As per instructions by mother, I cannot permit anyone to enter. Therefore, you're not allowed to enter the bathing room. Who are you? And why aren't you? Allow me to enter the bathing room. Forget my introduction and better go away from here. Shiva became very furious after hearing these words from Ganesh. Naughty child, you will surely get punishment for this. Saying this, Shiva attacked Ganesh with his trident. Ganesh too picked up his spear and a battle started between both of them. If God Shiva was the god of the gods, then God Ganesha was also made by Adi Shakti, goddess Parvati. Therefore, Immense battle went on for long between both of them. Fearing the effect of this battle, God Brahma and God Vishnu along with all the deities came to Kailash Mountain. Mahadev, please stop this war. Son Ganesh, please ask for forgiveness from Mahadev for this offense of yours. Rather than me, he should ask for forgiveness who after hearing instructions from my mother still wants to enter her bathing place. If he asks for forgiveness, only then I will forgive him. Hearing this, Shiva became very furious and worried God Brahma said to God Ganesh. Please accept your mistake, son. Otherwise, no one will be able to save you from the wrath of God Shiva. Rather than my protection, I'm more concerned about my duty. Please don't interfere. God Brahma, I shall surely punish this naughty child. With the attack of the trident, God Ganesha's head got separated from his body. Mother! And flying over the sky, it fell on planet Mars. On hearing groaning voice of God Ganesh, Goddess Parvati came out from her bathing place. She became very sad by seeing dead body of Ganesh lying on the floor. She cried and said, Son Ganesh, Mahadev, you've done this very wrong. Make my son alive again. Out of anger you have done a very wrong act. Therefore you have to make Ganesha alive again. And by now, Shiva's anger also subsided. He said to Goddess Parvati, My dear, due to attack from my trident, his head had fallen on the planet Mars 
And to tell you the truth, chopped head can't be matched with the body again. So please forgive me, my dear. It's impossible to make Ganesh alive again. Hearing this, Goddess Parvati became very furious. Mahadev, if my Ganesh isn't alive again, then out of my anger I will burn the entire world. On this, God Brahma thought for a while and said, Mahadev, we can make Ganesh alive again. Head of a boy who hasn't been chopped by our trident, we can fix it with the body of Ganesh. Therefore, Mahadev, instruct your disciples that from the north direction they shall bring head of a boy whose head is facing north direction and whose mother is sleeping by placing her back on him. Along with God Shiva, all the gods and deities agreed to this advice. God Shiva instructed his disciples. Having instructions, all the disciples headed for the north direction. After covering long distance, as per instructions given by God Brahma, they saw a child of an elephant. This baby elephant's head is facing north and his mother is also sleeping facing her back towards his head. Disciples came back with baby elephant's head to Kailash mountain. God Shiva fixed baby elephant's head with the body of Ganesh and Ganesh became alive again. Goddess Parvati became very happy by watching Ganesh alive but became a bit sad too by watching elephant's head on her son's body. Why did you place an elephant's head on my son's body? Now everyone in the world will make fun of my son. On this God Shiva gave a boon to God Ganesh. From today onwards before beginning of any auspicious work, our son Ganesh will be worshipped and he will be famous by the name Mangal Murti. Hearing this, Goddess Parvati became very happy. She gave a warm hug to her son and God Shiva also did the same. Like this, God Ganesh was born and he became famous by the name Mangal Murti. Co-friendly Ganesha It was on the day of Ganesh Chaturthi, Renu and Rehan were constantly nagging Papa. Papa, when you are going to bring Ganesh Murti? Papa, go fast! Okay, Baba, I am going. You first make the preparations. All the items for decorations are ready. Once Mummy's works get over, we will start the decoration. You go. You are so stubborn. Okay, okay, I am going. Just bring my umbrella and mask. Rehan runs away and brings an umbrella and mask. Papa wears the mask and goes out with the umbrella. Mummy, let's go. In the meanwhile, Mummy comes. Let's go and begin the decorations. Both of you go and bring the items. Renu and Rehan bring the items for decorations. Then the three of them decorate. To place the idol of Ganesh Ji, they make a beautiful house. They put lights around it and the decoration gets completed. Okay, decoration is completed. Now only Papa will come. Then Papa comes. By seeing Papa empty-handed, everybody becomes sad. Papa, where is the idol of Ganesh Ji? Sorry children, there are no idols of Ganesh Ji left in the market. Papa, you are joking. I am saying the truth, beta. How is it possible, Papa? Son, due to the lockdown, only few idols may have been made. And due to this, all the idols may have been sold. Listening to Mummy, Renu and Rehan start crying. Uh, we are going to our room. Now we will never come outside. Renu and Rehan go to their bedroom crying. Since morning they were so happy. Oh, their heart is broken. Now what we can do? There was no idol left for us. And all of a sudden, Mummy gets an idea. I know how to make them both happy. You come with me. Okay, but where? You come with me. Mummy takes Papa outside where there is a small garden. In the college, we were taught how to make eco-friendly Ganesh. Wow, this is a good idea. Go and bring some mud. Papa brings some clay. Mummy cleans the clay, then adds water. And Papa and Mummy together make the Ganesh idol. 
Oh wow, it's been made beautifully. Let's go. The sunlight is also good. Let's try it. They place the idol in the sun. Okay, I will make the modaks now. By then the idol will dry. You take out the colors from the storeroom. We will paint the idol. Mummy goes to the kitchen and prepares modak and the modak gets ready. Come fast. The idol is dried up. Colors are also ready. Shh, lower your voice. I will give surprise to children. And they paint the idol. Wow. Go and bring the modak. I will call the children. Then Papa runs towards the kitchen. Rehan, Renu, come outside. Now we won't come out of our room. We will never. If Ganpati Papa calls, still you won't come. Means, come outside and see. Ganpati Papa is ready. Upon hearing this, children come outside running. Papa brings the plate of modak. Seeing Ganesh ji's idol, children become very happy. Papa, from where did you brought the idol? I haven't brought this. It's homemade, and your mom made this. That is too with mud. Means it's eco-friendly, Ganesh ji. Wow, our teacher used to say that that we should bring eco-friendly Ganesh ji to our home. It's very beautiful, mummy. Beta, plaster of Paris idols are harmful for the water. That's why we should bring eco-friendly Ganesh ji in our home. From now on, every year we will make eco-friendly Ganesh. Mummy, will you teach us? Of course I will. Quickly get ready. Modak is ready to serve. Auspicious time will pass. We have to worship Lord Ganesh. In this way, they all worshipped Lord Ganesh. Ganpati Bappa Moria Ganpati Bappa Moria In this way Renu and Rehan celebrated their eco-friendly Ganesh Chaturthi Children is your Ganesh ji eco-friendly or not